Hi folks, 1121, 522, Wednesday, 70 and a half degrees outside. I know the day's brightening up a little bit. Still not quite enough to get my uh, batteries over the top to being charged. All right. Well, let's see. There are some things that could be said when you go through the all the troubleshooting here and you find something wrong and you think you fixed it and you put it all back together again and the son of a gun still won't spark so other than practicing my profanity I think I'm about to go in for the day this morning when I was out running my errands I swung by my friends at Harbor there and particularly the thing on the bottom, that digital multimeter, $9.99. I had a coupon, so I got it for nothing. Uh, I picked up a cheap hammer for mechanical work, $2.40. It's 16 ounce with a fiberglass handle. It's known as a framing hammer. It's got the, you know, the claw on the end of it, the sharp um, duct tape, 3 bucks, and uh, 5 bucks for the... Uh, for two of those magnetic parts holders. Uh, they claim I saved 27 bucks there. Whatever. Uh, the reason why I picked up another meter is because this one, if you zero it on the 200 ohm range, it goes down to like 0.9 ohms. That guy, the one I was playing with before, goes down to the um, to to like three or four ohms so I wanted you know something a little a little better obviously it's still not right but so what did I do with this rig I disconnected the on off switch figuring it might be the problem that's not it I changed the plug put a brand new plug in it just in case that's not it I swapped CDIs with that guy over there, which was the one from under the deck, which was unit number 11 in the class of 2013 that's already sitting on the scrap pile. So it wasn't the CDI, swapped the coil. It looked like from the readings and all that the coil was a real good possibility, but that doesn't seem to be it. Um, to be honest with you, at this exact moment, I'm kind of scratching my head. I have other bikes and other bits and pieces that I could I can swap on, um, but I'm uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of scratching scratching my head. The engine that was on this thing started easy, ran well, no issues. Um, well, the carburetor wasn't great. Um, so when I swapped it to this one, once again, it started, ran, really no issues. Um, you remember the, the other one, the issue was the uh, bottom end being screwed up. So, um, and about that, I, as a matter of fact, I think it's the shifter forks on that one shot. This one here seems to shift okay. The shifter isn't welded. So I'm uh, thinking of uh, completely cleaning this one up and uh, swapping the jug and so forth from that other guy onto it and that'll put this one back together again. But uh, still doesn't, uh, my countertop came in, still doesn't help. I need to uh, I need to get this puppy running. It's frustrating me. I, I spent, you, you know, I got a lot of money tied up in it at this point, a lot of time, more than the money. And it's uh, and it's screwing with me. It's taking up space, um, along with this big red that I need it not to be taking up. Anyway, folks. So my tale of woe. I'm sure some of you, some of you guys, get out there and start working on these things, and they don't cooperate. Um, that's where I am right now. Lack of cooperation. Um, I really think the one I parted out, see the 185S, the little gas cap, that really is exactly the same 
185 little gas cap. Um, I might spend a little time, if I get a few moments tonight, on the internet, seeing, uh, seeing if I can't find that exact logo so I could get a little closer idea about the uh, year. Um, all right, folks. So, anyway, some of you are probably amused. Some of you have probably been there that after you put a bunch of time into a bike, it still uh, refuses to run. Wally, uh, Wally was having trouble with a, um, a uh, four-wheeler, a three... 300 TRX I think it was or maybe it wasn't a Honda maybe it was another bike that he couldn't get started so I know he will understand about the rest of you guys um, what do you do you get out the schematic and you start trying to trying to grind your way through try to figure out what's wrong I mean uh, you really don't want to go visit a dealership and also once you do figure out what's wrong with one of these bikes what is rewarding is you, you really feel as if you understand things now. And uh, it also gives you a, uh, a quick button, so to speak, um, when it comes to um, working on your next one with an ignition problem. Obviously, the first thing you go to is the thing that fixed your last ignition problem. I already lost the piece of paper. I think that's it over there That uh, with all the schematics on it. Um, I think that's all of it, right? There's nothing else I should be talking to you guys about. <sighs> what I'd really like to do is get um, the last of these bikes put together and then start a build of some kind. I have all these golf carts floating around and all this other stuff. I would like to get the mule running or decide that the mule is never going to run and uh, turn it into something else. But even, even other than the mule... Um, which, by the way, looks like it's three back now, right? I got to get these two running, and then it's number three. So um, I, I would like I would like to take a couple of these golf carts and build something, or or you know figure out what I'm going to do, because with the price of metal at nine cents a pound for whatever I'm not going to use, I'd like to uh, start turning into some scrap, get some get some money, help finance some of these projects. Um, you know, like the uh, the Bolins out front. I really want to slip a bigger engine onto that thing. Turn that, that rig out there. You can see the tail of it into a nice uh, snow blower. That way uh, I don't have to kill myself this winter. Um, you know, kind of make a little more progress on this crap. All right, folks. Live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of the Horde. In the meantime, um, don't become too frustrated when your uh, your toys and projects don't go exactly the way they're supposed to. Maybe that's a way of uh, God testing your patience, patience and teaching you to be a better person for the future. We'll catch you on the next episode, which should be, I don't know, Friday, Saturday, something like that. Not too many days in between. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, thanks for commenting, most of all.